He's a little dog, but boy does he have a story to tell. To respond to certain Perkins order. was one of the canines which were picked up by the Guam Customs and Quarantine Group, which just returned from a three-month training in Orlando, Florida. But this isn't just any dog. This half-breed beagle made it to the top of his class despite the odds which were against him. You see, Perkins was on death row before he was picked up by a USDA dog detector training scout. He was brought to the Seminole County Animal Services as a stray, but scouts saw his potential, and that's when they picked him up. I was out there on instructor training, and part of that process is we go out and we source dogs from the humane societies or the pounds out in the Florida area. Uh -huh. And Perkins was found at the Seminole County, uh, I think it was a pound or humane society. Perkins was profiled and fit the bill, and he underwent his training at the Detector Dog Training School which he graduated at the top of his class. He was trained in the USDA National Detector Dog Training Center in Orlando, Florida. Wow. He went through a, I believe, a 10-week course wow. before he was certified. That much with training, talent. 10 weeks? Yes, ma'am. What, what are you training him to do when they take him to schools like that? We train him to locate fruits, vegetables, meats. He's now part of the Customs K-9 team that will sniff out passengers at the Guam International Airport. Purpose, vaccination. <laughs>